This was supposed to be a speed run and dirt video, but it just turned into a speed run video because broken on the first run without crashing. Quality control at its finest. Man, I tell you, ever since I got this laser nut, I keep looking at it. It is such a good looking car. It is the, the carbon fiber, the way every, the way everything, I just, I'm, I'm happy with the way it looks. I know a lot of people are really having problems with them, but uh, I guess I'm gonna see if I have problems with it. But you know how I do. I like to at least verify their speed, see what kind of speeds they can do out of the box before I start breaking stuff on them. Um, you know, I'm not even sure what this thing is supposed to do out of the box. Uh, oh, there. Uh, laser nut. Okay, so yeah, the laser nut, unlike the Mojave and Rock Ray, and you know, the, okay, so it doesn't give you a speed, so. We don't know what speed it'll do, so let's go ahead and turn it on. I really like those lights. And let's see. Okay. We are reading. So let's go ahead and just get into it. Um, I, I have driven it for about two minutes the other day just to get the... Uh, the, the trimming all dialed in. Um, also knowing how fragile these things diffs are, I did, uh, I dialed the brakes back. Oh, and they dialed right back up. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna dial the brakes back again on it. Cause I know these things have got some diff, diff problems so I don't wanna hurt it with the brakes like I did my DBXL. So, okay, we are reading on his tracking, I guess. Let's get a couple of runs in and see just how fast it goes. And yes, I did make sure the tires are nice and tightened down. Huh. I thought it would be quicker, really. I mean, it's not slow. That looks like a. <laughs> that looks like. I'd say 38, maybe 39 miles per hour. Okay, <laughs> it's, she still brakes good, that's for sure. God, I love the way that car looks. I gotta get some flybys. You know what? It drives really nice. That's a nice driver. Let's see what it did. Oh, 42. Okay. Well, heck, I, I, I was not expecting 42 out of it, but I am happy with that number. That's uh, not bad for the size rig. Guess nothing left to do now but uh, make it dirty, beat it up. Well, correction. I guess I'm going to have to fix it and then go bash it. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Look at that rear tire. I see the link is all the way in. I have no idea how that happened. As you can see, 
the car didn't flip. I haven't flipped. I haven't wrecked. I haven't haven't run it into anything. Just all of a sudden that. <sighs> okay. Maybe all the problems or complaints with these things are founded after all. Because I have found all the wheel nuts were loose. I had to fix that. And I did find a couple screws up front loose and I loctited them, but uh <laughs> that is so weird. Well, I guess we will figure it out. So I'm back at the workbench and, and I pulled off the tire, made sure you know there was there's nothing going on with the tire being all hitting anything it didn't as you can see the body's flawless because it has not flipped it has not rolled uh nothing somehow that link went in as you can see on that side you could see plenty of thread still on that side somehow it pushed in that is the most unusual thing I've ever seen. I mean, I, I can understand if it if it had like flipped or crashed or anything, but ew. Well, I was just gonna make this a quick speed run and then go bash video, but uh, I I still can't. I'm still at a loss at what happened. This part here, the the adjustable link for him. Uh, somehow got pushed all the way on there and I've looked all over the car everywhere for any scratch I mean and I, I'm, I'm okay we got oh no that's just there <sighs> and you could see in the video because that's the full video I drove it all the way back to the truck and then picked it up and put it on the truck I don't know what happened this this link got pushed all the way on and I had to cut it to get it off and that's going to give an end to this, uh, well, which I guess we'll go ahead and call this part one of this video. Because uh, despite all the, I mean, there's tons of spare parts in there and then all that new stuff. I do not have that size link. Uh, I thought I did on one of my shocks, you know, hence the shock tool I mean out. But uh, it don't want a thread on there, so I guess I'm going to have to go ahead and order that part and slap it on. So, uh, so far, while it's a dang good looking truck, it's, uh, definitely prone to failure. Out of the box, all the wheel nuts were loose, uh, the, these lower shock mounts were loose, uh, there was a couple screws, uh, all of these were loose, and this one was loose, and this one was loose, so... Uh, yeah, if you get a laser nut, definitely check it out out of the box. But this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I could see if I crashed it or flipped it or rolled it or, or anything. But, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't do any of that. And, and you could see, the, there's, there, look at the tire. There's no, I didn't hit nothing. It's not, it's not, there's, you know, uh, I don't know what happened. How it did that is just beyond me. I mean, yeah, one time it went up on two wheels, but I was pretty sure it was on that side wheel. And going from there to there, if it did that, if, if that actually caused that damage, there's no way you could even jump this thing. All right, enough ranting. I'm going to order the parts. I'll get it together. Then we'll go to part two of the video and... Uh, you know, play with it in some dirt, throw it on some jumps, see what happens. Dude RC, catch you next time.